This is part two of distraction training. Please view part one for off-leash recall. We're moving out to a local park for more distractions. Arriving at the park, Rosie is warming up with her heel and sit. This will give you the control you need when walking in an urban park. Note there is a small dog being carried. Rosie did a great job with her sit. With distraction training, sit duration is important around heavy distractions such as small children. Dogs represent a very high distraction for Rosie. This is her first encounter at the park with a dog today. I'm asking her to filter out this distraction and to heal. Geese and geese droppings also represent a very high distraction for Rosie. Sit is defined as being completely upright. If a dog is allowed to sniff and follow their nose, then they are off command in a split second. The water is a little cold for swimming, for me and for Rosie. Asking her to wait. I'm using this rock as a place. When you're at the park, place could be a bench, a boulder, or a blanket. Sit, wait, recall. She gets tangled in her long line briefly, but recovers nicely. She is able to stay on task and filter out this walker. During the early part of training, I walked in circles. Focus of training exercise now is to walk in a straight line past dogs. I've slowed this clip down to examine it more closely. 
Rosie is reacting to the energy level of the other dog. I cannot control the other dog, but I can control Rosie. One way to help her is to remain stationary. The other dog owner is moving off at distance. I'm asking her to sit. She ended her training session today very calm, relaxed, and remaining on task.